Hey everyone, it's Big Z and welcome to Owl Boy. This is a game that came out last year and I'm sure a lot of you heard about it. Um, I did want to play it last year when it first came out, but I felt like a lot of people were playing it after it just came out, so I decided to wait a little while, then I waited a little longer, and then I was looking through my Steam library and realized I had the game. So I thought, you know, what, what time better than now? Uh, so let's start a new game. I don't know anything about the game, other than, you know, obviously, or at least I'm hoping, obviously, you're an owl who's a boy, or a boy who's an owl or something, so... I'm excited. I'm excited to see what the story is. I also heard it's very cute, like it's adorable. Revered. Exalted. Wise. These were the traits of the Powerpuff Girls. This is what owls aspire to be. That too. Over the centuries, we have worked hard to build up the respect that people have for us. Good for you. What proud little owls. As times get harder, you too, as my student, shall carry the weight of owlhood upon your shoulders. Should I do voice acting for this one? I can see that you you are already a fine young owl, Otis. In time, I will mold you into the spitting image of myself. Ha ha ha, I am perfect. I am the epitome of owlhood. No need to look so nervous. This is a great moment for you. Despite being born as a mute, under my tutelage, you will become one of the pillars of our community. What does being a mute have to do with- okay. What does that have to do with anything? Well, I see there's plenty we will have to work on. Aww, don't be mean. <laughs> don't worry, I will straighten you out. It's just <laughs> wow, you really suck. You're gonna need a lot of work. But, you know, I'm gonna try to say that more, more appropriately. We have a lot of work to do. Still came out mean. Poor owl child. What was his name? Otis? Poor Otis. Otis the owl boy? I love it. Oh, alliteration. I'll be honest with you. You haven't been doing too well in your studies at all. So I've been thinking that perhaps your talents simply lie elsewhere. Oh, really? I always thought I was pretty A plus at decoupage. So today we'll be doing some flying. I bet you've been looking forward to this for a while. Aw, look at him. Yeah. Good. Then listen closely. All you need to do is jump off the ground. Then, when you're in midair, spread your wings and flap them. The owl cloak I gave you should take care of the rest. Whoa. Are we on a drug trip? Go, Otis. Show me what you can do. Look at that. He's like, I can do it. We're jumping. Oh, sorry. See that platform up there? I was just going to keep pressing A. I thought it was that kind of thing. Fly up there and land on that island, and then I'll teach you the real tricks. But I don't... How do how? do I how? Okay. There we go. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Otis. You're getting there. You're getting there. Oh, you got tuckered out. Sweet baby. I couldn't go any farther, though. I couldn't go all the way up. It, we just got so tuckered out with our little owl wings. Hmm. Well, Otis, that was terrible. Aw, no, leave him alone, you big bully. Adults can be bullies too. I have to date, or I have to say, I'm really disappointed. Most students pick up on this instantly. We just have to put some extra time in. Don't be mean. Tomorrow we'll go back to your normal studies. It pains me to see such inept flying. It pains me to see someone with like such an inept, I don't know, Lack of empathy? <laughs> He's such a dick within the first five seconds of the game. Why? Who hurt you? Quickly, Otis. They're short on water and valley. People need our help. Did I read that right? Or was it valley? Valley! The drought isn't as patient with your sluggishness as I am. Or with how sluggish you read. <laughs> Why have you left the water jug on the ground? Pick it up immediately. Hurry up. Yes, yeah, sir. Left trigger grab. There we go. Hang on. You've been sloshing the jug around. Let me check if there's any water left. Sure, just waste more time. Why not? Pretty. Put the jug down here. Do I want... Do I want to throw it, though? Can I control the arc at all? Not really. Okay. Can I just place it? No? 
I gotta throw it? Okay, hold on. <laughs> Just let me let me get let me get all lined up here. God, it's like golf all of a sudden. Okay. Huh. No! I told you to put it down, not smash it. Well, you know, we thought it was industrial grade. How are you supposed to bring water to the villagers now? I will not forget this. I didn't know this was like also an RPG. So and so will not forget this. And I will make sure that the others are aware of what your incompetence has caused us. Do you understand? Is that like his fingers? Is he like tapping his fingers together? Aw, sweet baby, so nervous. I cannot describe how disappointed I am in you, Otis. Leave me. I will bring water to Veli myself. Hopefully that'll help with your saltiness. Water that down a small bit. Otis, you have failed me again and again and again. Oh, this is the old man. Whatever. <laughs> Today there are no lessons. What? All you need to do today is to talk to the other villagers. Simple enough, right? Even for you. Have them tell you what they think of you and your ineptitude. I don't like that face, sweet baby. Don't come back until you've learned what you did wrong or whatever. I don't know. I don't really care about what he has to say anymore. He's such an asshole. <laughs> like, I feel like people forget, whoa. I don't wanna go any farther, do I have to? I'm not sure how I feel about this. But I feel like people forget all the time that, like, you know, adults can be bullies too. Kids aren't the only ones who can be bullies to kids. Am I supposed to, like, I can't jump. Okay. So we just walk into this then? Talk? Are there shadow people in, in this realm? The truth about you? Are you sure you want to hear it? Oh, sweet baby. Is that like your self-doubt? It's okay. Don't worry, it's gonna be okay. I, I love how he like holds his, like I don't love it, it's heartbreaking, but I mean at the same time I like how he holds his cloak closer when he walks. Oh, sweet Otis. You want to know the truth? You mute. Wouldn't be able to tell anyone anyway. Stop. Sweet baby, I don't want- no. No, I just want to hug him. Sweet baby. This looks like some, I don't know, like evil Disney character stuff going on in the background with like the evil eyes. It reminds me of, uh, oh, what is it? King's Quest. I haven't played those games in forever. Anyways. Why so nervous, Otis? Of course you have every reason to be. Aww, sweet baby. I've never wanted to hug a fictional character more. Oh, I can't move. What the heck was that though? Was that just like his self-doubt eating away at him? Or was it like a bad vision? What? Was that someone saying something backwards? I don't know, I was talking over it. Oh, it was a bad dream, sweet baby. Otis, meh. Otis! <laughs> Looks like me in the morning, just like, eh, yeah, I'm gonna uh, uh, cheddar biscuits. Anyways, <laughs> first thing on my mind, food. Finally awake, are you? Ah, uh, we're going to be late. Good thing I came to wake you, or you would have slept for another hour. Get out of bed immediately and meet me outside. Hee <laughs> hee, you have to duck. Perks of being a shorty, we fit in every door. Anyways, or every doorway, not every door. Oh, are you okay? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I thought you could jump on like the bookshelf. Grab? Oh, we can drink it. So does the purple meter. Oh yeah, that's actually really cool. I like the wings. I like the animations. Okay, anyways. um. So is that like, is the purple bar past our normal health? Can that just keep going up or is there a limit? I don't know. Oh, I love the music. It's Valley, I did read that right. I thought it said Valley earlier and I was like, I don't think I read that right. <laughs> so we live in the sky? 
How does that work? Otis, don't zone out. Get up here. <laughs> That's what we were doing? That's actually kind of cool. Okay, anyways. I'm probably gonna geek out about the game a small bit because I love this kind of style where it's like kind of, you know, the old fashioned kind of style, if that makes sense. About time, Otis. We will keep watch over Veli today. There have been pirates about lately. You know the drill. Report to me or the guards if you see anything suspicious. Any questions? No? Really? You insensitive prick. <laughs> then get to it. Oh, you're just so cool. I aspire to be everything but you. Anyways, I don't like this guy. Oh! I really don't like that guy. Is he like a central character? I'm guessing so, since he's like our mentor, but like, does he have to be a central character? Woo! There we go. Also, the controls are a lot easier than I expected them to be. Can we go that way? Can we pick that up? And get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Ooh! I was gonna throw it at that, but I guess that works too. You can grab this too. Yeah, give me all the muns, hon. Are we gonna use that for like upgrades and stuff later? I really like this. I really like the fact that like the game just starts you off with like, hey, why don't you just goof around and see what there is to see? I love when games do that. Because I feel like there's so much pressure a lot of times in like story games to be like, you know, go from point A to point B to point C just to move the story along, but it's nice to have like an actual objective be just doof around and see the place. Check out all the stuff we've done. Which I think this game was in development for a long time. I think it's it was like six years or eight years or something like that. It looks amazing. And I really like, just based off what I've heard from like here and uh, the main menu, the menu screen, I really like the music. I like pixelated music. Consume? Okay, I'm just, I'm kind of confused about the health bar. Like, I don't know if we get like a limit or something or what the purple is. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. I think like the, the orange is like our regular health bar and then the purple is additional health. But like I said, I don't know if that just keeps going on forever. Okay. So I guess we'll uh, figure out what that is later. Okay. Aren't I supposed to find like people in the, not the neighborhood, <laughs> I guess this is a neighborhood. But shouldn't I be like trying to find people or something and talking to them? What do you say? Higher Veli Plaza, lower Otis's residence. Let's keep going up then. I really like the clouds too. Just overall, I really like the art style. It's pretty. Hey, what's up, bud? Bud? I almost called him butt. <laughs> what's up, butt? What let? But say what? He's not saying anything. He's just doing a little dance. He's very coordinated, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, let's talk to you so I can stop acting awkward. Hey, man. Keep a watch today. Maybe you want to do something later. Otis and Getty, the unstoppable team. Maybe we should take a trip to Advent today. Let me know when you're done for the day. Aw, oh, look at him. He's like, yeah, I love that pose so much. It's so cute. I'll be here fixing this cannon. Gotta be prepared for anything, right? I don't know if the dude voice is the right voice for him, but I guess we'll find out. So that's Getty. Good to meet you, Getty. At least he's not an asshole. <laughs> I'm very cautious now to talk to anyone because I'm afraid everyone's just going to be a, a complete jerk. What's up, Bongo Man? Hi, Little Lotus. Looking for pirates? I think I've seen some. Oh, really? Saw them west at Lookout Point. Maybe check it out? Maybe I will. Also, there be Troublemaker around the village. It's not you, is it? Somebody else is stealing my bongos. Don't be slacking off now. Okay, you go, you go. So she'll stop weird Russian sort of accent. I don't know what it is either. <laughs> can we go this way? Ooh, we can. Is there anything off this way? 
Kind of. What's over here? So yeah, I kind of just want to do exploring for the first episode. Oh. So as you can see, Yasio, this screen is at the heart of the machine. It will show you a map of the area generated in real time. It's my greatest accomplishment. Also, I like your hat. Is that- it's a little bookish, but I mean, you know. I don't understand. We have maps. The owls keep the maps up to date. Don't be daft, Asio. His name is Asio, because he's an ass. Oh, anyways. I'm just going to keep making fun of this guy. He was such a jerk. Anyways. The islands are floating around, and there are so few owls left. This is the future. Ugh. Behold, groundbreaking technology at work. Da da da. I'm not impressed. When are you? Blah. Or blast. It worked perfectly fine before you showed up. Happens to the best of us. Something must have. Huh? Your student is in my lab, Asio. Aw, sweet baby. <laughs> he has the cutest little, like, I don't know what to call them, like little emotes or whatever. Otis, what are you doing in here? Give the boy some space, Asio. It's fine as long as he doesn't break anything. Again. Da da da. Anyways. <laughs> Just don't idle here for too long. Go out there and keep a lookout for pirates. Aye aye, el assy hole. I, I tried to I tried to combine assio and asshole and it didn't work. Anyways, let's leave. We'll leave these men to their ramblings. So where else can we go? Can we just I'm just okay, that's as far up as we can go. I was like, I'm just gonna keep heading up until we can't head up any farther. Uh, but apparently that's the farthest we could go up. Then again, maybe not? I don't know. There's something to this game, but I haven't quite got it yet. Okay. Oh, looks like we've got a slacker in the village. True that. Coming from the two guys who were sitting there doing nothing. Are you the troublemaker that's been lurking around town, Otis? You sure look like a troublemaker to me. What is with everyone in this town except for, like, Getty and the bongo dude? True that. I saw Asio on his way to the professor. For some, or for someone as strict as Asio, he sure lets you get off easy. Now be a good owl and return to your duties. True that. All right. Well, you guys return to your naps because apparently you're still a little cranky, and you still need your nap time. Okay. Can we talk to you? Yeah. Oh, hi, Otis. Keeping watch today? I hear there's been a troublemaker lurking about. I really hope it's not a pirate. I've heard so many horror stories about pirates. There's even rumors of a humongous one. How can their ships stay afloat if there's pirates like that? <laughs> hey, come on. Bigger people can be light on their feet. <laughs> but we're safe here in Belly. Just try not to play around too much, right, Otis? We'll be fine as long as you stay focused. No pressure. Thanks. I really appreciate the vouch of support. Mandolin's house. Oh, is that her name? Because she has a mandolin? Sorry if I'm wrong about that. Can we go up there? I saw a prompt. Oh, no, okay. I thought we could go upstairs, but there's not really anything upstairs anyways, so. Alright. Hey, there's a dude down here. He looks like an interesting character. Everyone has a very interesting taste in hat wear. Okay. <laughs> in this game. The one dude's wearing a book, this dude's wearing a potion. We're gonna say it's a potion. Anything else may not be safe for the kids. Let's just talk to him. Oh, we're getting all red in the face. This sauna here sure is nice. I come here on the weekends. Oh, yeah. Okay, thanks, Goofy. <laughs> okay. So, is there anyone in here we can talk to? 
Or is this Bongo Man's house? Bombo's house, okay. So I'm guessing we're gonna come back to them later for like upgrades or something. Woo! Part of me is very tempted to just like, I don't know. I kind of want to just like let Otis drop and just see how far down we go. But I mean, at the same time, I don't want to hurt my sweet baby Otis. I don't want to hurt my sweet baby Owl Boy. What is that? Is it just like a rune? Or something? There we go. That would be kind of fun though, not gonna lie. Like just to jump off an edge and then be able to like flap your owl wings out with your owl cape and just do owl things. I don't know. I think that would be fun. But at the same time it would probably be terrifying. I don't know. Because aren't like... Oh, what are they called? They're like gliders or something like that. Right? Where you can do that? I don't know. I can tell you all about windsurfing and all that jazz and regular surfing and, you know, wakeboarding, but I have no idea in terms of aerial sports and aerial arts what there is. Okay. Well, I'm not quite sure where to go from here, kids. Can we grab this? It's a bongo. We broke the bongo. <laughs> I was like, great, we found a bongo. We can take it back to uh, Bombo's house. I think that was his name. And be like, hey, here's your stolen bongo, but apparently not. What's this? Oh, look at all them muns. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why do we even need this dude? Like, we are so good at finding money. I'm sure we could just, like, you know, scavenge money if we need it. Rather than dealing with Asio and his assholery. Okay. In case you guys can't tell, I really don't like him. <laughs> The second I see, like, the bully- whoa. Was there something in the corner? Or did I imagine that? I think I may have imagined that. Okay. But, like, the second I see, like, the character who's supposed to be, like, the jerk of the group or whatever, or the enemy or whatever, whatever they may be, I'm just like, mm, I can already tell I'm not gonna like you. <laughs> can you tell us what to do? I haven't seen any pirates, so I don't know what else to do. Oh, by the way, there seems to be a troublemaker around Veli. Well, if you see that rascal, come get me, I, Otis and Getty, keepers of peace. I think I like the ring of that better. Okay. You call us whatever makes your heart content. Well, apparently we're supposed to find this troublemaker. But I don't know how exactly we do that. Like, I don't know exactly what we're looking out for. I don't know what the telltale signs of a troublemaker are, so... Should we go down to Otis's residence? I don't know. Or that's... Are we Otis with an I or Otis with a U? I don't know. Is that supposed to be some deeper meaning too? Woo! That, uh, we're all the way at the bottom. Like, where we live is all the way at the bottom of Veli. We have such a cute little place. I freaking love it. I always like the idea of having, like, a tiny little house. Like, those little houses that people have where it's, like... They're not, like, a motor home, but they're super tiny, so you can take them with you. If you have a big enough car or a big enough truck to, like, haul them. Which I'm sure I'm romanticizing it a lot. Like, being in this situation probably feels a lot more, or feels more different than, like, when you think about it. I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like the grass is always greener on the other side, and then you actually experience it, and you're like, oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, I think I want to go ahead and leave this episode here. I wandered around a bit to see if I could just, like, if I just concentrated on finding whoever this troublemaker is. I wanted to see if I could just find them if I just concentrated on that. But I haven't found anything yet, like I'm hoping there's gonna be a cutscene or something, something to like indicate that we found the troublemaker we're looking for, or at least something to indicate we're doing the right thing, because I think that's what we're supposed to be doing, because everyone in town is like, hey, have you heard there's a troublemaker? You haven't seen any troublemakers, have you? And I'm just like, no, because I've been goofing around like Asio told me not to. Um, but yeah, so I think in between episodes I'll look around and see if I can find this troublemaker, 
Oh, he fiddles his thumbs. That's so cool. Sorry, I love stuff like that. I love little details like that. Especially because like stuff like that reminds me of like games I used to play as a kid. So like Crash Bandicoot, if you didn't like mess with Crash for a while, he would look back at the camera and be like, what are you doing? We're supposed to be doing something. Or, you know, like scratch his butt or something. I don't remember the exact things he used to do. And like Spyro used to do stuff too. If you didn't like, you know, move him, if you just kept him stationary for a while, he'd do stuff. So like little details like that, I love that in a game. And it like, it really helps my nostalgia vibe. Or I guess it makes it worse? I don't know. Either way. It makes me feel like I'm playing a game that I would when I was a kid. Cause, I don't know. Overall, just the art style, the music, everything about the game feels very nostalgic. Or at least for me. So yeah, anyways, getting back on track. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode here. In between episodes, I'll see if I can figure out what we're supposed to be doing, or see if I can find who we're supposed to find. And in the next episode, we'll get some story progression, so good stuff! Uh, but other than that, I do want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye!